and welcome back guys back to the channel and yeah we've got some big news it's election time in America uh, they're still counting Trump saying it's all a conspiracy against him and Biden thinks he's gonna win uh, who knows because last time they thought Hillary was gonna win but anyway guys more um, close to home you know we've got another lockdown coming and we've got just like a mess. When it comes to the economy and the government really doesn't care about kids starving, where Marcus Rashford, a 22 year old football player, is showing them how to do their job. And yeah, there's a lot of things going on. And yeah. I don't really care about what's going on in America, yeah. Trump wins again, it's bad. Biden wins, maybe it's bad too, who knows. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm not over there, so it's not going to affect me directly, you know. But here, we ain't got any better politicians. Uh, Boris, come on. I mean, you see the press conference, he goes, sorry to disturb your Saturday night. No, he means sorry to ruin our lives for another six to four weeks. Four to six weeks. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just so annoyed that, like, I don't care anymore. But, like, Covid's always there this year. You know, it's not the same worry I had at the beginning, but it's still there. You know, it's not going away overnight. Um, whatever figures they tell you, they're not always accurate. And when it estimates stuff, it just doesn't help, you know. And they're showing us all these graphs trying to explain and give reasons to everything. But who's going to read all those graphs and actually understand what they're saying? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how we're meant to understand that, and the rules are so unclear. Um, if you've seen his, uh, you've probably seen the, the the press conference or whatever they call it, where he's got those two scientists next to him, and he's in the middle blabbering on about something. Typical Boris, in it. I mean, is lockdown the best thing to do now? Well, now they're just covering their their asses for what they didn't do before, basically. What they didn't react to early enough. Yet, ten days ago, Boris is saying now another lockdown would be bad. Um, he's having to go to the Labour leader who was saying worldwide lockdown was needed. I mean, worldwide? I mean, nationwide. And we're almost there anyway. And now we are going to be locked down as of tomorrow. But by the time you see this, we'll be ready to lock down. And... Yeah, I don't know what to say, really, because there was me at the beginning going, oh, I got a shield for 12 weeks, and we got a lockdown. And, at, like, at the time I was, like, really annoyed, but, like, it's, uh, all the stuff we've been through this year, by now it's just like, what? Who cares, really? Like, I've been shielding anyway, lockdown or no lockdown. So to me personally, I'm lucky to say it doesn't make a huge difference. It's just a lot of people are suffering. A lot of eco the economy, like local business, um, these school kids that can't afford uh, to eat properly uh, through no fault of their own or their parents, but the government says, oh yeah, it's your fault. If you're a parent that can't feed your kid, it's not. And so, Marcus Rashford, who should be, you know, driving around in nice cars, saying, look at me, I'm a fancy football player. But no, he's, as well as scoring goals against PSG, yeah, I don't like Man United, that's, that's the honest opinion. But as a person, like I said, as well as scoring goals, he's been making a difference to poorer communities, to kids that are less fortunate, who need those school meals paid for, you know? And we shouldn't shy away from that, or look down on people like that, people that are less fortunate. And surely, I mean, when you're kids, you like, you see a homeless guy and you go, well, that's his fault. But then you grow up and you realise, no, it's not. It's the way the system is. And, yeah, free school meals. Thank you, Marcus Rashford, for actually giving those kids some hope. You know, which previous generations maybe didn't have. And that confidence to say, to not be ashamed of it. But this is what we're living with now, basically. And I'm not going to get into anything in America because... I can't be bothered, I can't, I'm not going to waste my energy 
Um, but yeah, what does another lockdown mean for you? It's different for all of us, but it's just, you know, will it go over Christmas? Hopefully not. Will they extend it? Will they sure on it? Probably not. Well, definitely not. But yeah, the whole time it's just been Boris blabbering on about stuff. Oh yeah, you'll clap for the NHS, but you don't give them more money. And he's, got, he's saying, like, we're locking down to help the NHS to reduce the, the stress or the strain on the NHS, which is ironic because it's already kind of at a low and it's already been, it's been, the NHS has been in the ring and been battered, basically. And you're asking it to jump back in the ring, basically, and it's been jump, it's been in the ring the whole time. So how are you going to help the NHS by locking down if it's already struggling, regardless of COVID or not. But yeah, that's my little rant, bit uh, on the negative sides. But yeah, lockdown 2.0. Let's see if anyone actually follows the rules. No, well, I don't know. Winter's different to summer, so it'd be less things to do outdoors anyway. So it'd be even more annoying. But yeah. Hope you're staying safe. Um, yeah, wear a mask. I don't know. Um, lockdown. To see where it takes us. And I'll tell you what. This year. Yeah, it's not over yet. When it's over, then we can celebrate. And yeah, enough of Boris, please. I'm just fed up of his speeches which no one can understand. Anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching um, and stay safe out there guys. Take it easy fam, peace.